One year ago, I was the best Geoguessr player I ever was, consisting of my best guesses, best streaks, and overall, the highest accuracy. What's that rising curve? Since then, I've spent the past 12 months traveling, which resulted in my skill being quite stagnant and even dropping off because of a lack of practice. I was thinking what was the best way for me to get back into what I was most known for, guessing in 0.1 seconds, with the hope to beat my previous best blink boat streak at 17, which I got one year ago. But what if there was a way to get better at GeoGuessr without actually playing GeoGuessr? I wish you posted more of your bird videos. This is Seth. I met Seth while climbing Kilimanjaro a couple months ago, and Seth works at Lumosity, which is a website with brain games and cognitive training, and after mentioning my past success in GeoGuessr, he suggested that I try to play their game Skyrise, which is pretty much a one-to-one -one clone of Blink Mode on GeoGuessr, but just without GeoGuessr. The game is made to help with your field of view and attention, I thought what better way to actually try and increase my skill on Blink Mode than to actually try and work on my field of view and attention itself. He did give me a free account to play on, and I am not being paid at all for this video. It could work, it could not, but here's a quick conversation and run through I had with Seth. One of the things I did when I got back was, I mean, I caught up on a bunch of your content and I thought geoguessing was pretty much what I thought it was, but like, especially when you're doing no wandering, when you're making a call in like a fraction of a second, I was just not uh, expecting that. So I was yeah. blown away, but I was also immediately like, dude, you would kill it on Lumosity. I've had more fun in Lumosity this week than I've had in any game in a while. Skyrise was when I played 98% of the time, just because it's like innately the exact same thing from what I had practiced before. I had a video actually, the initial first part of the video was just me explaining, looking at things with like an eye tracker that like tracks my eye movement on the screen. And then I did one at the end of the video where I was like, it was 0 0.1 seconds and my eyes were only in the center of the screen the whole time. And everyone was like, why are your eyes only in the center of the screen? Like, why in 0 0.1 seconds? Like, why aren't you looking elsewhere? I'm like, I, I feel like it's easier to just like look in the middle and use my peripheral and take everything in from that. And then that reminded me of this one a lot, where it's like simply look at that one thing and just like look at the things around it. And it works really well if I had done it so much before. It makes a lot of sense because I, I think I sent you that video of chimps. Well, they're not playing Skyrise. They're doing the limited hold task, which is the lab based activity that Skyrise is based off of. At least like out of the gate, chimps on average perform better at that task than humans. First, they have to try train the chimps on just like the sequencing. If you watched most humans play Skyrise, especially amateurs, their eyes would bounce around the screen, really trying to process, okay, there's the one, there's the two, there's the three, and you don't have time for all of that. So what you're doing yeah. with just that peripheral snapshot makes a ton of sense. It genuinely felt easier after like two days. Like the score I got on like day three, I don't think it was ever possible for me to get on day one without any practice. I thought that was like one of the coolest parts. Yeah, that's awesome. I think the people who gravitate toward my the most are people who sort of have like an intrinsic enjoyment that they take out of progress and like pushing themselves to grow. What other strategies did you try? For the most part, it was just like sitting up, sitting down, lights on, lights off. It was like a lot of that testing, like A-B testing. The zoom level on my browser, slightly more zoomed out, I could get more peripheral. I think my preferred zoom is like 75%. I would even like do this a lot. Like I would block a lot of the screen with my hands, only focusing on the monitor itself. It was fun though. Like you'll see in the videos where I I, I'm like doing this like half the time and people probably think I'm like stressing, but I'm really just like blocking like the top left of my apartment. So I'm like really focused on the screen. I think it almost like creates discipline as well for myself because a lot of time I do get like a wandering eye and tend to like looking for something where it doesn't really need to go. Where if I really trust the field of view, trust that I can see the rest of the screen by only looking in the center. And then I think the more I trust that, the better, because sometimes even when playing with Skyrise, I'll just like tilt my head, do something. And then like, I end up paying for it. And like, dude, I told you, don't do that. Like it, you don't need to. So there's this concept of response inhibition. And that's like anytime there's some sort of automated response that comes from your body, like there's an itch, you want to scratch it, you hear your phone ding, you want to check it, then there's inhibiting that automated response. It's been studied a lot when it comes to endurance, sports and exercise. Basically, the responses you're inhibiting are the ones that say like, hey, this isn't comfortable, we should stop. I'm sure you're familiar with that after climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. There's plenty of those thoughts. <laughs> but inhibiting them kind of allows you to perform basically any task better so there could be a little component of that as well the game's so fun i'm gonna play it for a while like just to try and beat my score it's it's sick i'm, I'm thank you for introducing me honestly for sure yeah thanks uh, for uh the insight i'm excited to see how this goes and I, again i appreciate the you putting me on because it's, it's been fun so i gave myself a three-day challenge on skyrise to see how well i can train my brain in 72 hours by only using skyrise my first results were decent 
but nothing too crazy. The game starts off only showing you four numbers, and I wouldn't really miss any at this point. But as time goes on and you're consistent with your ordering, the game gives you more numbers. So it went from four to five, and my initial try at five numbers per round also came pretty easily. Whether it be because of my previous peripheral practice on blink mode or not, I had already felt quite comfortable. At this point, I had eventually made my way to six numbers per round where things got slightly more difficult. And in the beginning, I really did initially struggle with six. I was only getting six out of six right, maybe 60 to 70% of the time. I kept playing more and more and more. But the immediate feeling after playing a couple more games and actually practicing on this game was quite weird because it genuinely felt easier and after just a couple more games and a couple more practice on these rounds i started getting pretty much 100 consistency on six numbers and even slightly more confident on seven i kept playing more and more to practice because it genuinely was helping i kept getting more consistent and more consistent and it really did become a lot easier than it was a couple days ago and i felt so much more improvement from just two days ago already at the end of day three i capped off with a pretty good consistency on seven which i know would not have been the case three days ago. I improved my initial score by more than 20,000, and in just three days, it put me in the 97th percentile of all players. So now the only thing left to do is to play Blink Mode, and to see if this actually translates, or is this just a fun game to play my free time? That meant absolutely nothing. Can I beat my streak of 17? Let's find out. Alright, game one. How well will I do? Will I do well? Will I not? So far I'm doing pretty well. As soon as it's full -end. I mean, this is not Bolivia. This Bolivia be sad. It should be Peru. Ooh. Wait a minute. So far, I feel like that was okay. Should have got Bolivia. That could be Peninsula down here somewhere, technically. Just north of Bangkok. Italy or Malta? You go Malta, surely. No, you go Italy. Nice. Lithuania? Do you ever go Osh? Surely you Osh, right? Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. What is that, Brazil? What else would that be? I'm just hoping I get like an average score of like something somewhat decent. So far, that's a pretty easy like region of the world. This would be like Illinois or something, probably. Country Street 2. right here in Spain, surely. I still got it! Unless I go Mexico on Northern Colo. I lost it. Give me one more shot. One more shot is all I need, coach. It's all I need. I'm just like getting my Mexico guesses down, like, packed. Gen 2 has to be Finland, right? It's never Canada. Locking, bro. That's a good score. Is that wall? Do I go in the one? It's east-west road. You have to go in the, the one down here, right? You have to. You have to. You have to. Ooh. It was up there. No! Dang it. I don't know what this is. Okay. Well, it's just Russia. SK. Nice. Alright, what was that? 19k. I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. I'm getting the countries right. I'm getting panned SKs. But luckily, I, I don't miss those. I don't miss those. You try to throw me off my game, I don't care. I know Cynical still. We're getting a lot of SK, or Cynical and SK. Just Max East. Should I use my Max East again? Is that Russia or, like, Bulgaria? You go Russia, surely. Nice. This is gonna be... You go Russia or Finland. You have to go Finland, right? You have to go Finland. Surely UK. Surely. Look depressing, you go Manchester. Was not. 21k, not bad. Another SK, what are we doing? Norway. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't mean chili! I meant to get chili! I'm, I said it out loud. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna lie, Ice Spice just came on in my headphones and I got like, hi. I was thinking about South Korea because we had like so many, but I said chili, play it back, play it back. I didn't mean chili! I meant to guess chili. I'm counting back. I was going to guess chili there. I'm not coping, okay? I'm gonna get this wrong anyways. I'm not. So we have at least a 14 streak. I said I was I said chili before. I said chili before. You told me it wasn't over. And this this is chili. 
Unless it's like orange, like right here, but it should be like somewhere in this in Chile. Yeah. See, I know Chile. See, guys, I know Chile. And my streak last year was 17, and I just got 17. And ooh, was it Svalbard? Was it Greenland or S Iceland or Svalbard? Don't really know. Or Canada? Don't really know. I got my streak from last year. Ooh. It was Canada. I know that I wouldn't have been able to get a 17 streak probably like two weeks ago. Wait a minute. Wait, did I just get a really good score? Oh my god. Let's get 23. Oh my god! Holy sh. Let's get 23.9k on NPC. Is there one second? We take those. That was a win, okay? I think it really did help me. I really did. But if you guys enjoyed this or want me to play more games like this to like train myself, see how high I can train my brain, let me know. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe or don't. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.